The subsea mud lift drilling system combines conventional and new fit-for-purpose drilling equipment. To get a feel for the layout, take a trip from the mud's eye view through the system. Your journey begins at the rig's mud pumps. These are the pumps located on the rig at surface in the pump room. These pumps are standard equipment, no change. But they will run at significantly reduced pressures compared to conventional drilling applications. Expect the rig pumps to last longer, require less maintenance, and require significantly less power. The rig pumps will pump the drilling mud from the mud pits up the standpipe and into the drill pipe as always. The mud strip down the drill pipe and into the well is routine, except for its flow through the drill string valve. The mud exits the bit and begins the trip back up the well bore annulus. Everything remains conventional until the drilling mud reaches the mud line, where it would enter the base of the riser in a conventional operation. At this point, the mud encounters the subsea mud lift module, consisting of two main components, the subsea rotating diverter, or SRD, and the subsea mud lift pump. The SRD diverts the mud flow away from the marine drilling riser to the mud lift pump. The mud lift pump boosts the drilling mud up the marine riser auxiliary lines, the choke, kill, and boost, to the surface. In 10,000 feet of water, this pump can pump at rates of up to 1,800 gallons per minute for the 17 and a half inch hole, or at rates of 800 gallons per minute of 18.5 pound per gallon mud for the 12 and a quarter inch hole. This capacity truly differentiates the subsea mud lift system and allows operators to achieve the completion objectives needed to economically produce in ultra deep water. Inlet pressure to the mud lift pump is set to equal the seawater pressure at the mud line. This pump isolates the hydrostatic pressure of the drilling fluid in the riser auxiliary lines from the wellbore annulus, making dual gradient drilling possible. Several types of pumps and designs were considered, but positive displacement diaphragm pumps were selected because of their efficiency, solids tolerance, longevity, capacity, and pressure capability. They automatically respond to changes in surface pump settings by reading pressures and rates at the mud line. Another place the mud may go is into the virtual sac or subsea accumulator chamber. The virtual sac is merely a bypass line equipped with a valve running between the base of the SRD and the base of the marine drilling riser. This feature allows drilling fluid to U-tube from the drill pipe into the riser, thus relieving the sudden and excessive pressure burden that would otherwise be imposed on the well bore. This is primarily a safety device to be relied on in the event of a mud lift pump failure. However, there are also routine drilling operations where varying the level of the mud in the riser is beneficial. Upon reaching surface through the riser auxiliary lines, the drilling mud runs across the shale shakers and through the mud processing equipment, ready for another cycle into the wellbore.